Howdy, everybody. Idaho Mountain Girl here. Snowing today, so there's not much going on until I can go plow, and then I'll probably film that as well. But I think today I'm going to show you how to make a survival bracelet. These are great because they're made out of paracord, and some of you might know paracord is filled with, I think, seven. This is this one got seven. Yeah, this one has seven. Seven strands of string. And you can actually even unwind this string. So then you got two more. So like 14 pieces of string plus this part, the cord. That could do a lot well, for a shelter. You can make fishing line out of this. And it's strong. It's nylon. So the, even if you pull this apart, it would still tie really well, tie your shelter up really well together. It's great stuff. I usually do about, I think, 15 to 20 feet for my bracelets, but today I only got, I only grabbed a pet 10 foot strand, just a spare one that I cut off, one that I had from doing dad's walking stick. So maybe it'll end up being one of the kids, but I can still show you guys how to do it with this one. Just probably won't be my bracelet. I usually am wearing one, but Thor chewed up my last one, so I need to make myself another one eventually. So we, first thing you want to do is measure your wrists. So you take the two ends, you put them together, and then come up to the other end to the halfway point. Camera's kind of upwards, so I'm trying to figure out how to do this. You want to measure about how big you want it. I usually leave it a little looser. It does tighten up a little bit. It's about there. Then you want to fold it over. Fold it over. Then you want to take, let's start with the left strand, take it over, and you want it to be under the right rope. So it looks kind of like a backwards four. And it's in between this piece, which you'll actually be tying the knots on. It's in between that and the right strand. Then you want to take this right strand and go yeah, go under right here, just pinch it right here, go under and through the loop of that backwards four. And then you gotta be careful because you'll start to lose your point. And you want to pull both sides down See, I got a little smaller, but I guess it's for the kids anyway. That's all right. And you want to leave this part a little loose because at the end, you'll be putting the ends through these loops. So you don't want to get them too tight just yet. And then you want to switch. You want to do, this up here, so it stops dragging it down. So you want to do this side as your number four correct way and then you'll take this left side and you'll go underneath it all right here and through that loop on the knot number four what did I do there, oh, there we go I'm trying to watch the camera at the same time too See, I got a little bit more than I want, so I'm going to tighten that down, that extra. Oh, well, I'm getting out of frame. Got a little extra than I'd like. But for if it's your first one, it might be easier for you to work with. I've been doing these for <clears throat> a while now. <clears throat> I've been tying, it's the same knot as you would tie like a hemp necklace tying these pretty much my whole life. Mom taught me when we used to live in the motorhome. This one's a wolf's tooth. I got so many of these. It's the same knot as this. It's just going to be bigger because it's obviously a bigger piece of string. 
turn on. We got lots. Libra. Some Libra. Here's another one. This one's a twist knot you can do. Tell I've wore this one a lot. My lucky mushroom necklace. So get this tight. undo that. It's all over the place. I don't think I got it in frame anyway. It's okay because I can just show you again. So you'll alternate sides with every knot. <clears throat> when you alternate sides, they're going to take turns being on top. And this side's the next side, so this one's on top. You take it and you run it under and through that loop. You get it tightened down. And one way I've found to tell if you like set it down, you forget which side you're on, is by this this being on top. So that means you're on the right side last. So you need to do the left side. So you do the four. This one, the this one's on top. Go under and through the loop. And then you'll see. Now this is on the right. So then you got this on the right. So you're going to start your number four loop right here. So you got number four, and then you take this one and then you go under and through the loop. Now it's on this side, so you start your number four over on this side, over and under and through the loop. And I always pull tight, grab it, pull, pull. I like my bracelets tight, it'll, it, it'll be like stiff. Of course, and even even the hemp ones are. They when you you, get, you break them in. When you wear them, it breaks down the material. And they get less stiff, I guess. It's looking good. So it's on this side, so you take, I used to take these two fingers, pinch it off right here, I have pulled this up with my thumb, reach over, grab that side, so it's in between the two, then I take my middle finger and grab, and then I, like that. Hope I'm explaining this well enough done it for so long I just do it I even have to stop and think about how that how I actually do it my hands just know the motion In between the two, grab this one, 
around and through. And you can take these and make keychains, <clears throat> all sorts of things. Just have a little piece of it hanging off your backpack. This is going to be pretty short. So you start to get towards the end, you start to kind of run out of room to hold on to it. We got grab it here through the loop. Now sometimes if you get your knot and this little short piece falls out, like your knot's down here, all you gotta do is just put it right back in between. And you'll see which one's on top, should be this one, and the last one that was on top was on this side, so that you got it correct. Coming to the end. I'll do probably one more knot. And I actually, what I usually do is I singe these ends because it's easier to deal with to get it through the loops. So I'll cut these hangers off. So I usually singe these ends. <clears throat> My camera cut out. So I singe these ends. I need to cut those off. Makes it a little easier. Makes it easier to get through the loop that you're about to stick these ends through. Where they're not sticking out in the way. Kind of put it to, try to form it to a point so it's easier to stick through. Hold. Just 
So I'll probably make, it might be easier for you guys to avoid this step, but I like to make it really tight. So I'll do another loop. I know where it's going. And then I'll do another one. And we'll just go with this. How's that going to look? Yeah, I think I'll do another one. Once you get enough practice, this is easier to do a couple of loops at the same time and know where you're at. So I got the loop. Before it's tightened, I stick it through this loop here at the end first. Because when it's, you tighten it down, it's hard to get through there. You can just leave this exposed too. I usually don't. I just like it all to look tight and all that. Okay. <clears throat> So this one's on top of this, so I'm going to come under. The other one was the opposite. See, it's already almost too tight to get them both through. Oh man, see, that's why you do it. Now that I got those through, I'm gonna come back up here and tighten these down. You don't need to do this step. You can avoid this step. can start to get even confuses me. So we got this loop. Okay, so you get it pulled tight. <clears throat> this is why I like to do that loose knot, because then it just really hides the end of this. It's really difficult though if you're not used to the knot, so I wouldn't start out with it. Once you start doing it, you'll understand and you probably can just figure it out yourself, really you'll understand how the knot's working and all that. So we got that. And then these ends here, I usually take probably a screwdriver is what I'll grab. I just got this little screwdriver, one of the first ones I've seen. And I kind of pull these out some so there's a bigger loop. Be able to get the string through. So you got a little bit bigger loops. You can get these little ends for paracord too, or it's like a needle end like thing. I can't remember what they're called. I don't have one. I've never really needed one. So, so you want to take, make sure you're on the right side. Take that string, get it pushed through there. Take this string. Get it pushed through the other side. This is my guy a little tighter. Get in there. So you got them both pulled through. I take your wrist. I go back to the biggest part of your hand. And that's, you need it that big to be able to get this bracelet on. It's about right there. I'm just, I usually just cinch it all the way down so it's out of my way. Just like the beginning, wherever your measurement was. This one's for the kids, so I'm gonna try to make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go right about here. You're gonna fold it over. I'm going to take your ends, do that same double four, doesn't matter which side really that you start off with, which rope's on top. 
So it looks like that. You're gonna take this top one and come up and through this loop, the opposite side. Pull them tight. Oh, something happened. Try to look at the camera too. Four. I think I explained it wrong. Four. And then this comes under and through the loop. You want to tighten that down. Get as tight as you can. And it looks kind of like that. Or you just tie it off if you really wanted. Then cut. I usually cut, leave just a little bit and I cut pretty close. Yeah, like that. And then I'll take burn these ends down and I just flatten them so they don't go back through the knot now in a survival situation you get this knot untied and just unravel the whole thing and then you have this was probably eight feet of rope Sometimes I even put a couple drops of super glue just to hold this knot from coming undone. For the most part, cinching it, or yeah, cinching it, keeps it pretty tight. I haven't really had one come apart. So the one that Thor chewed up. that please remember to like and subscribe thanks for watching and yeah you probably my next video will probably be me plowing we got some snow we got about an inch maybe more out there now and yeah